Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I am the man with the stick. And we're playing Madden 20, mm. the Houston Oilers. Ugh. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did we're it. We're here right. in the Super Bowl. Oh, oh, we're playing the Saints. It's the big game. They're Jimmy. going marching in. We're spraying oil on them. Wait, what? Why would we do that? Because we're lubed up daddies. No. Yeah, as always, playing offense only, simming that D, using that mm -hmm. balance playbook, playing on all man arcade mode. We're going to destroy the Saints. They won't go marching anywhere but to their beds to cry to their mothers. You know, Jonas, I don't think kids even know about no, when the Saints go marching in anymore. That's not like a popping song. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, why you don't why hear, was it popping when we were young? It really wasn't popping then either. It's just it's, we accepted it because like our parents were like, hey, whatever. When the Saints go marching in. When the Saints go marching in. Jonas, when no. When the Saints go marching in. Jonas, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not. I'm not going to join you, so we are not going to do that. Uh, <clears throat> all right. I'm not Fair. playing that game with you. All right, fine. Jones, would you uh, would you climb Mount Everest? Nope. Really? I probably would climb a mountain, but I would die. Wait, what? I'm Why would you die? Man. Why would you die I'm on not a mountain? Small man, I don't have the endurance. I mean, it's a mountain, Jonas. It can sustain your weight. It's not the issue. I mean, I'm not that big anymore. Anyway. There's no weight capacity limits on a mountain. <laughs> But the, the equipment that has to haul me up is. What the what equipment? You gotta, oh. Like, repel up the side of that bee, dude. Oh, when they're like putting those tiny little hooks in it, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. dude yeah, that man. is just I mean, scary. those carabiners can hold a lot of weight. Nah, dog. They can. Nah. I mean, they're made. They, they have ones that sustain human weight. Yo, look, like, I believe you, but, uh, Imagine, nah. like, just like a little, like, circle of metal. That's all that's holding that, your life. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, what, I mean, what if the quality control guy fell asleep one day and a couple passed through and then ka -ching. Even beyond that, what if that particular piece of mountain is more fragile? I'm just, yeah, yeah man, I'm oh, good. I feel you. Yeah, dude. I can't believe people do that. Yeah. Like, and then there's the ones that, like, bare hand rock climb. Yeah, dude. Like, if I was smaller, I would try that. Like... I mean, not like against a real mountain, but like the walls they have at the gym. Yeah, I would do that for sure if I was smaller. Well, you, I mean, you can do it now. I just, it's the, the, the bigger, the, most of the people who do that are like a buck fifty. Do they have a, a and, they, and they're really tall, so they have a long, like, reach. Yeah. I don't have either of those. I'm way more than 150, and I don't oh, have a long you reach. Count, you count yourself out before you even got up there, fam. Do they have a rock wall at the, uh, at the gym? They do not. They don't? Not at Planet Fitness, no. No. They barely have anything there. Dude, let's go do the rock wall. I know where there is one. I know where there's a real walk, rock wall. I'm not woods. going to a rock and climbing a rock, <laughs> dude. <laughs> right? We've got enough problems with rocks. I rock. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock that? Johnson. <laughs> Smoking rocks? No, I'm not talking about crack rocks, Jonas. The rock's dad died. I heard about that. It's sad. It is, man. And he made like an eight eight minute video thanking the the people of this world. Yeah. Oh boy, at least there's two men chasing that one guy as he pounded me into the sand. He he was a wrestler too. He was. If you were a wrestler, Jonas, what would your name be? You know what's funny about you asking me that question? You've thought about this before? No. When I was a child, yeah. I used to have a subscription to WWF magazine. Me. And one time in the magazine there was a contest. And it was like, if you were going to be a wrestler, tell us what your name would be and why. And you wrote in to I it? I wrote in and I... You hold on! freaking loser. Not only, <laughs> not only did I write in, not only did I write in... You won! I won! You freaking piece they of crap! <laughs> they sent me a box. Oh my like, god. Like, I totally forgot I wrote in. I was like an eight-year-old boy, dude. <laughs> I'm just talking it. Oh, I know! Uh, right. But I was a kid, so... I don't even remember what I wrote, to be honest. And I came home one day. We came home from like the grocery store. There was a box there. There was oh four T-shirts, like four posters, and like a couple magazines and some other stuff in a box. That's what my prize was. No money? No. Where the loot at? Come on, bro. This Yo. Was like, this was a long time ago. Was it season tickets or something? No, it was it was a it Get was a, it was a contest for children to write in and win like merchandise. Because back then you couldn't buy merchandise unless you went to an event. 
That's not a that's not a good price. It was not. That's a terrible price. It really was. It's an awful price. It was probably like two hundred dollars worth of stuff. All right, that's fair. You know, because it was like back then, because since you couldn't buy them online, the shirts were like thirty five dollars at the event. You know, and I got four shirts, one in each size, small, medium, large, extra large, and I got a couple wall hangings and a couple like a lot. I mean, it was probably over two hundred dollars. So of wait, stuff. it was all the same shirt, but they were no, just different sizes. It was four different shirts. Four different shirts. Yeah, one and four of them. And sizes. I was mad because I remember this distinctly. The small shirt was a neon green Macho Man shirt that I wanted to wear so bad, and I couldn't. So I gave it to my best friend because he could fit into it. And I was oh, sad I couldn't no. wear it. The extra large shirt, which I could wear, was the Undertaker, but it was a giant picture of his. The whole, it was a whole print of his face. The whole shirt, like those giant cat faces, but it was the Undertaker. And I remember I wore it to school. A giant cat. You know, face? like it's like where like people get those those fake shirts made on the internet where it's like the whole shirt is their cat's face, like the whole. Oh, like the whole shirt is the face of. I just can't believe that's your measuring uh, instrument. uh, But it was of the Undertaker, and his eyes were red. And I remember I wore it to school, and a girl complained to the teacher that uh, to the teacher that it scared her. No, because it it was the front and back, and I don't remember the other two shirts. Who the hell goes to cat shirts as their their like tape (laughs) measure for shirt? But I figured you know the meme shirt. I mean, I get it, but I just like you what said. Other, what, what would you have said if you were you trying to describe it? You said it so that? fluidly, like I was just supposed to understand. You okay. know, like those cat shirts. <laughs> You're like cat shirts. <laughs> Nyheim Heinz, dude. But yeah, uh, no. Ooh, I juke jammed in. Yeah, I won, dude. That 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 is absolutely maddening that you actually, that you won. Well, it's maddening that you wrote in at first, <laughs> all right. But then, you, uh, yeah, okay, you're a kid. I was a kid really, in a small what town, was dude. what was your own freaking? What am I? I'm missing the whole point. What was your wrestling? I don't remember. How do you not remember the wrestling name that won you the contest? Be- because it took so long for me to get the stuff, I forgot I had wrote in, uh, and then they didn't send me my letter back or anything, like. I have no idea. Oh, so you don't even know if you won? No, I won for. I mean, they sent me a box of stuff for free. Yeah, I but you could have got a runner-up prize. Maybe. I mean, it was a good amount. Uh, I, I won a prize for sure. Yeah, you did win a prize. Yeah. I figured if you had won, 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 then they might have like sent you like a letter, like a trip to an event or something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff, and so that, and I that, definitely placed. And the prize that you, I, I hate to, I don't want to like take the wind out oh, of your okay. sails, but I just feel like the the prize that you got kind of feels a little runner up, like a second or third prize. Yeah, yeah it does. Like <laughs> the other guy got a trip to like L. A. to go see like WrestleMania, and I got like a box of merchandise. <laughs> right. That was like when I uh, I was like twenty something. I won a uh, thing to go to a hockey game. Oh off the radio. Boy. Oh, boy. And uh, you got to go to this event, a little thing before the event, and mm-hmm. they were giving away prizes. And the number one prize was an all-expense tri- paid trip to Columbus to watch. To <laughs> watch Ohio? <laughs> oh, boy. Pack the bag. <laughs> to watch. But, no, you got they, – they flew you to Columbus. You got to go to the hockey game, like – like I like front row seats, and they put you in a hotel and gave you like five hundred dollars spending cash. I came in second and got a hockey jersey. <laughs> so I was like, "Man, you just known for winning merchandise <laughs> out yeah, here in these yeah, streets, I man." I come in second. No cash prize. I mean, honestly, Jonas, I've, I feel like I've never run won anything in my life. I've won quite a like radio contest, dude. I've won a lot of good. Just, I I've won. Never won I won tickets to opening night at the Ashtabula Mall movie theater before it was even open off the radio to go see Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And that was a lot of words. Yeah. And I do not think that you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What it was the Christy Swanson one, and I was like ten, so she was hot. Oh, so this was way way back when the mall opened. I wasn't, I man, I wasn't in the town when the mall, oh, okay. when the mall opened. Yeah, yeah, it, Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie was in the theater, and I won tickets to go see it off the radio. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I'm really good at winning contests. That's before my time. I have, I can think of one time where I won something. It was uh, junior high. And we had a choir teacher, because I did choir all through. Mr. Wen? No, dude. I was living in a different place. This is a different land. <laughs> Fair. All right? Fair. But, yeah, I remember we had a choir teacher who would let you pick a cassette tape if she called your name that day. She would, like, pick a name out of a hat, and then she had, like, cassette tapes. Do not at me about my age. Out of a ha- Out of, a, like, a box. 
my name got called one time out of like the three years of choir that I did there. And I got a Gloria Estevan oh turn the beat around oh single. Turn the beat around. And I absolutely listened to it on repeat. <laughs> it was only like the one, it was like the single, the live version, and the instrumental. And I will bang that ish in my room. <laughs> Junior high, beat that, Jonas. <laughs> That, I, uh, that is the only thing that I can say without a shadow of doubt that I've back won. Back in when the internet first really came around, yes. my grandmother had it early, and I entered a contest and won Descent for PC. What the hell? I know what Descent. Like a, I like actually a, know what that is, yeah, too. I won, like, I, I entered a contest, and she called me like three weeks later, and she's like, did you do something online because a game just came for you today? And I was like, the freaking hell, man. <laughs> I also, let's see, what else did I win? When, and that was back when the when the internet was like the Wild West, where they were just bound to just like take your information and like sell it to the Germans or something. Yeah. And you're out here winning contests. Yeah, one time in high school, I guessed uh, the, uh, the... You I, did not guess the jelly beans I, in the jar. I did. I freaking hate <laughs> And you. I got the jar of jelly beans, and I hate Dude, jelly beans. <laughs> this is bull crap. <laughs> Dude, I've won I've so many I've never times. won the jelly bean. Nobody wins that. <laughs> Nobody does. I did, dude. How? Dude, I don't know. Jesus. This is ridiculous. I've won a lot of dumb stuff, dude. Like, never, ever, ever, ever <laughs> won anything. I already told you, one time I went to a casino, I lost 50 bucks. And, oh, believe me, that was, that was like in 20 minutes. I was like, oh, 20 minutes, I'm down 50, I'm done. 20 minutes, my life is over. I was like, yep, you guys ready to go? They're like, excuse me? <laughs> Jeez. That was like man. the first time I went with this one kid. Like, we, we, we went to, me and my buddy in Minnesota used to go all the time, and we took this other kid we worked with, and we got there, and, like, and we, like, went in, and we got something to drink, and, like, we, like, sat down and put, like, a $5 bill in, like, video poker, and, like, we stood up and turned around, and the other kid was standing behind us. He's like, you guys ready to go? And we're like, what? He goes, yeah, I lost 30 bucks. Like, yeah, we've yeah. been here for two minutes. Yeah, yeah. He's like, well, I'm done spending. I'm like, we're right? going to be here a while, bro. Yeah, I'm that guy. I'm like, hey, I lost because that's, you know, honestly, I feel like a guy with my luck, I should probably just go ahead and play the lottery. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because, like, I've never won anything, like, ever in life. Like, I, I just, I can't even contemplate a time where I've won something. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, maybe I'm saving all that luck up. And well, like, all my luck has been for really dumb little things. Well, yeah, so you're, you're done. Yeah, Ray, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the lottery, dude. Actually, you should play the lottery because you're always freaking winning-ish. Maybe you just win the lottery. And then if you win, like, $10 million, I'm good for life. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, start playing the lottery. Yeah. I'll play the lottery with your money. It's, it doesn't work that way. See, but I can I can one hundred percent say I, we've said this in private, but we've never said it on on tape or on video or I think whatever. We have. If you're talking about hooking each other up with lottery, have we? Yeah, I think we've talked about All that. All right. All right. Well, let's just to reiterate. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll if I ever again. win the lottery, you're good for life. If you <laughs> ever win the lottery. Yeah, and then if like, and then if you don't or I don't, we have this like rec record of like you have to go through every Ooh. YouTube video and be like, I know it was on one of them. I'm gonna listen to every single <laughs> one. <laughs> Till I find it, you sob. I can just picture Jonas sitting, sitting in a Ritz, uh, in the Hyatt Carlton, deleting videos off the YouTube like channel, <laughs> petting his white tiger. Just he's, he's like, ha ha, dynamite. <laughs> Good luck finding that audio. You'll never get a dime from me. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, would you have goons? If you were a million. Oh my goodness. Uh, would you I have would, goons? Uh, I would have an entourage. I 100. You need goons, man. For well, they sure. They wouldn't be goons because they'd be like you guys. You'd be my entourage. Then you we would have I'm, goons that protected all of us. You think I'm about the goon? No, you'd be, oh, you'd be the entourage. So you would have goons, but they would like protect. No, you guys would be my entourage. We would have goons that protected all of us. Are they your goons or are they our goons? They're my goons, but you. See, but, but, but you're gonna so have, you have goons. But you're gonna have enough money. You could have your own goons too. Well, yeah, I would want. I would want like one goon, like one guy that just protects you. Yeah, I need one. Handles goon, business for you. I don't feel like you know. That guy's looking at me funny. Go tell him what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so awesome. <laughs> I don't want to just sink sick a guy on somebody. What would you What would you name your goon, Jonas? Whatever his name was, he's a person. Wow! 
<laughs> what would you name your goon? Goonie McGoon face. You want a white goon or a black goon, Joe? This is which one? The best goon that he could be. You want to? Could be any goon. He could be anything. <laughs> be any goon. Any goon, dude. Would you Whoever. take? Would you get a female goon? If she was the best goon that applied. Hot take, Jonas. I don't want a female goon. Do you try to hit it? What? No. If she's a goon, I'm assuming that she has goonish features. Oh, like, I don't want to hit a goon. <laughs> I'm not trying to. What if you were real drunk and lonely one night, and she was the only thing around? You know. Honestly, Jonas. On desperate nights, it might be nice to have some goon coops. Yeah, you have, like, China when she first entered WWF. Like, when she had, like, that square jaw and looked like a dude. And then, then you're like, you know what? We're in Des Moines, Iowa. We're all alone, girl. You know what? She's passed away, Jonas, so I'm not going to joke too much about her. But she did in her later days start doing some other uh, some other type oh, yeah, of work. She, I mean, she looks very effeminate by the time she got done with all her surgeries and stuff. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. She had wow. an adult movie. She, yeah, a couple of them, I believe. With uh, X-Pac. Uh, she had more than those. Oh, she cool. had one where she was the uh, She-Hulk. Oh. Yeah. And oh, man, there's more, too. You gotta look them up, man. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, no, you guys don't look them up. You guys don't. You look up uh, candy canes at home. Candy canes at home? Different yeah. than candy canes at the mall? I'm talking to the kids at home, Jones. Tell them to look up candy canes. No, no. Canes. Oh. Tell them to look up candy canes and not pornography. Yeah, don't look up anything that has Jeez. to do with adult movies. Why uh, well, I mean, we're not four kids, right? We're for like, what, 13 and up? No, 14 we're and for up? grown folks, man. No. If kids are watching this, it's because they're choosing to break YouTube's rules. No, you click the button, and the button... No, we don't make content for kids. Yes, but that just means that we can make content for people who are 13 and up. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not allowed to look up any of that stuff. No one is. Me either. I don't. I don't know what it is. You know what I do, Jonas? If read I the even, Bible? If I even think about trying to touch myself... Read the Bible? I go in there and I smack my hand with the Bible. <laughs> I do. read hymns? Yep. And Who I won the Super Bowl? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Rach, you're talking about him and yourself. <laughs> Whoa! Don't, don't talk about my bedroom activities. <laughs> well, let's watch the same outro we've seen every time. Oh, man. It'll be the same next year, too, I'm sure. God, this game is so trash, dude. It is a trash game. Yo, and you, they you put keep so little it. work into it. Yeah, I'm aware. I get my money out of it, though. It was so funny. I actually watched one video where they were like, if you look, they were like uh, took a screen capture, and they looked in the stands, and in the stands, you could see Madden 19. And like, oh, like they didn't even change the... They, like they didn't. didn't. They didn't catch all the stuff to change it. The they movie. didn't. And it was wow. funny because, like, it said Madden 20 on the ones that were right next to the field, but, like, behind some of the guys, uh, some of the crowd's folks. Oh, said, like, said, yeah, so they literally, like, copied it. Oh, yeah, dude. But you it's, can tell 100%. It's, a, it's the same game. Oh, yeah, dude. And they are the Super Bowl They've updated a couple things. Not much. Hi, hi, hi. He did pretty Brody good. Brody Six Guns didn't get it. He did not. He didn't deserve it, though. No, he didn't. He's a PAB. Me, hi, hi, man, deserved it. He's a PAB. Personal Punk. athlete. Oh, what? <laughs> Why are you got a mouth? It's a pab and a bat, dude. You just said he was a punk a uh, female PAB. dog. A punk butt female dog. Dude, you can't say that, Jonas. Yeah, or you could do female dog butt trick. <laughs> Wait, what? Now you're just saying words. We're, we're kissing. Where'd the sound go? <laughs> the game's good, dude. <laughs> the sound is just it's gone. Stopped. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. You're done episode. playing, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, send a friend our way, watch our playlist. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you next time. We are. Mm.